Hi lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so elated to have you back on the channel. It's been a minute, I know, you missed me. I missed you more. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so if you're watching me for the very first time, please make sure you subscribe before leaving here. I'm sure you don't want to miss this beautiful face again, do you? Like, <laughs> and to my old subscribers, to my all time subscribers, thank you so much for always, always doing this with me. Ah, you guys, you have no idea. You make all of this what's it thank you so much so let's get right into your, i'll be showing you a process video of how i made a beautiful fall rug for a space in my room uh after i was done with this i was like oh no this is beautiful i can't i cannot keep it with myself i have to share it with my you know great subscriber my beautiful subscribers so that is why you're watching me right now so let's get right into the video yeah, first things first um, you're going to be needing a four fabric I got one yard of this I divided it into two because I want myself a bedside rug so the smaller one is going to be going for that and then you also need a fiber you can get this almost anywhere I got it in Yaba at Joshua market and also 100 kg of sack um, and of course you need scissors and tape row. so I'm going to go right ahead to cut it into to place my bedside rug on the fiber trim it out also I want like a curved shape for the edge of the fall so I'm just going to do that now so I'm um, just trimming off the excess of fiber of the fiber underneath also I repeat the same process for the main rug now I'm just going to cut open the sack and spread it open so you can decide to use a more thicker underlay for yourself but i wanted this tutorial to be as cheap as possible as affordable as possible so i am going to go ahead and place my four fabric on the sack and leave some extra inches all around like as much as possible yeah i have like two inches but trust me it's not going to be enough i know that already so leave as much excess as possible and then you go on to sew, tucking the excess under the uh, four fabric, like in a way that the four fabric will sit on top of your, you know, sack and with the fiber inside. Keep sewing, be careful, don't let the air of the four get in, in the way of your sewing. And then, speaking of needing more, <laughs> you needing as much excess as possible. You see, I'm literally short of sack right now. So I don't know how that came about because really I, I left excess. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead to join right away. Um, so you guys leave as much excess as possible. You will need it, trust me, like you've seen already. And then so I'm joining. Putting the two. Oh my, my sack is shredding and it's actually my fault because I do not burn the sack all round after cutting. I was supposed to have done that. So you can see that I had a little bit of struggle in dealing with that. So I'm just going to cut, um, sew the four on top of the shredded part and cut the excesses out like so and later burn it. And make sure that you pop out the air of the fall after you're done sewing so as to cover up the sewn line. Yeah, like so yeah my rug is ready and it's properly placed in the way that i want it so guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you for your likes your comments for sharing this video i am super grateful you can also follow me on social media at bukumotayo on all platforms thank you so much please do subscribe see you in my next video till we see again keep living your best life. Mm -hmm.